Because uh, the iconic blue flag is one of the world's most recognized uh, voluntary, I must emphasize on voluntary, eco labels on water beaches, um, marinas as well, and sustainable boat tourism operators. Um, the blue flag program um, is run by the international non governmental, non profit organization um, called FEE, which stands for Foundation for Environmental Education and is managed in South Africa by the Wildlife and Environment Society of South Africa, which we all know as WESA. Um, the program started in France back in 1985 and it's been implemented in Europe since 1987 and in outside areas since 2001 when South Africa joined Blue Flag. Uh, today Blue Flag has become a truly global program with an ever increasing number of countries participating in it. I think currently there's about 5,051 um, Blue Flag awarded um, beaches and marinas and, and, and boat operators in the world. Um, the Blue Flag program basically promotes sustainable development in freshwater and marine areas. Um, it challenges the local authorities and beach operators to achieve high standards in the four categories, which is water quality, environmental management, environmental education, and safety. So over the years, the Blue Flag has become a highly respected and recognized eco-label, working to bring together tourism, environmental sectors at local, regional, and national um, level. So the criteria are categorized either imperative or as guidelines. Um, most beach criteria are imperative. So the beach must comply with them in order to be awarded uh, blue flag accreditation. Um, if they are guideline criteria, it is preferable, preferable that they are um, complied with but not mandatory. Um, there are 33 criteria within four different aspects of coastal management um, that need to be met in order to receive blue flag status. The four aspects are your environmental education and information. Um, this includes, uh, you can have environmental education programs on the beach. What we normally do is we get in oceans research or um, one of the local um, education operators that do marine awareness and we normally support the, the programs that run through the holiday season with the kids on the beach. Um, and then that's your blue flag boards, your regulation boards, basically telling, giving people more information on the beach, where the bathrooms are, where um, the lifeguards are, and emergency numbers, and, and such sort of information. Uh, the second one is water quality. So uh, the blue flag program requires that beaches achieve excellent bathing water quality. Bathing water quality standards have been based on the most appropriate international and national standards and legislation. So we have a weekly sampling schedule for all the beaches. So we sample twice a week, every week, two weeks um, leading to the beginning of blue flag. And then each week during the blue flag season over two months. Um, and then it's environmental management, which is very important. It's um, where the beach must comply with the laws and or regulations pertaining to issues related to coastal zone planning, environmental management, wastewater management, environmental conservation and others in order to receive and maintain blue flags. So they basically look at the compliance at your beach. So you can't be having massive excavations that they have approvals or um, wastewater that's, that's um, washing out the new beach that has, you know, no control or it's like in, in, in certain areas currently due to erosion, there has been a lot of sewage that's been driven out on those beaches and those beaches haven't been awarded blue flag status because they're not in compliance with environmental management. And then lastly, your safety and services. So the beach operator must ensure that the safety measures comply with the national legislation regarding beach safety. That includes your lifeguards, your security, um, and, and general security of the beach. So when people see the blue flag flying, they know that this is a safe area, it's being monitored, all the regulations are seen to, um, they are lifeguards, so on land and at sea, there's, there's safety measures um, in place. And if a beach that has a blue flag accreditation does not comply with the blue flag criteria, 
um, your flag might be permanently or temporarily withdrawn from the beach. So it's your responsibility uh, as, as the authority or the, the blue flag state is older to make sure that if something does happen on your beach that you inform WESA and you inform the blue flag authority um, that this A, B and C has happened and they either tell you take down your flag until it's sorted or if it's a very serious issue your, your flag gets withdrawn. In the more serious issues, it's when you don't um, inform them that, that something has happened. So we keep a very open relationship with WESA. If anything does go wrong, for example, if, you know, human error, if somebody's, if the security's late or the lifeguards are late, the flag's not allowed to go up until everything is in place. So it's quite a big job to keep all five beaches in, at standard all the time. So it's truly a mark of quality. The blue yeah. flag is absolute more of quality. So when you as a tourist, I mean it's international, so when you as a tourist looking for the beach in a new city that you're traveling to, the blue flag stays is what actually draws you because you know going to that beach you're going to get a certain standard which is at international level. So. November, um, Blue flag hosted the launch event in Plettenberg Bay, which was supported by Peter Municipality. It would be a lovely event. And Marcel Bay was awarded five blue flag beaches. So we have Santos Beach, Tobacco Beach, Hazenbos Beach, the main beach at Atkafir, um, Glenbrack Main Beach, and then Glentana Main Beach. Um, Tobacco was also awarded the 10 year award, so it's 10 years full status in a row. 10 years in a row of full status. Um, yeah, and those were the five. The mission award that was given to Tobacco was for 10 years constant full status, which means that for 10 years constantly, the, that beach was awarded uh, full status, um, which means there was no any occurrences of the flag being dropped or the um, the status being withdrawn with regards to, for example, water quality. So basically, at this point in time, the Baku is the best beach in Marsa Bay in terms of blue flag status um, because it received the 10 year award. Um, the Baku was one of three in the country that received the award. Um, I think the other one was also in the Western Cape and the other one in PE. The blue flag beaches, um, this is, for example, there's a criteria which includes the catering for disabled persons. So you have to have allocated parking areas, for example, your illusion blocks, um, I would say, need to be um, disabled friendly. And then, of course, your beach itself. And um, this year we would be rolling out our first, our launch of, of, of um, that accommodation we, we uh, pr uh, procured a, a, a mobi mat, a beach mat. So people with disabilities in wheelchairs are actually given the opportunity to go out onto the beach with their wheelchairs. And then um, we've also procured a, an actual beach wheelchair. So disabled persons that, that do fit the criteria um, for the wheelchair can actually get into the wheelchair and go into the water. Whereas previously that would be closely impossible in their own um, in their own wheelchairs. So that's something that we're looking forward to this year. Um, we say is very um, impressed that we are taking a step further towards improving our blue flag in terms of the guidelines. Um, we will be um, I think the second in, in the Western Cape I stand to be corrected but I know Musenberg from City of Cape Town that out out their beach mats also not too long ago. Um, so yeah, we, we currently have three and one beach wheelchair and over the coming years we have budgeted to increase the capacity to ensure that all our blue flag beaches um, have their own equipment. So this year we'll be, sh we'll be rotating it between beaches mm -hmm. and we will hopefully be putting up a sign for people to call or to go to the lifeguards to request um, the service. Mm -hmm. so it's a Blue flag season in Marcel Bay um, will start on the 1st of December 2022 and it will end 
on the 31st of January 2023. So the blue flag program has a minimum um, period of two months. Um, there are other towns and cities that, that run the blue flag, some of them right through the year, some of them during certain seasons, um, but Muscle Day runs it for two, the, the two most busiest months in the year, which is um, December and uh, January. And then to add, I think I might have missed something. Mm -hmm. um, one of the criteria is also that your beach is sort of disabled friendly. Really. 